I'd like to begin with a cheer. We're number one. We're number one. We're number... It's not much of a cheer. It's repetitive and rhythmically uninteresting. But it does succinctly apply to our country, and has for quite some time. In fact, we've been number one so long that the rest of the world has come to rely on us. And we don't let them down. We're the world's largest donor of development assistance. All in all, as a nation, we donate over $55 billion a year in foreign aid. Money, 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 money. Everything is about money. But we must never forget that there is a terrible human tragedy at the center of all this. Ms. Picaro lost her child. The loss of any child's life is an incalculable horror. It is for that reason that I would ask you to award the plaintiff piles and piles of money. After all, we have so much to give away. Why not? Piles and piles. Thank you. You know, come to think of it, maybe we don't have that much to give away, do we? Our national debt is now over eight trillion dollars. Eh, who cares? Give them piles anyway. What the hell? Never mind that we have 37 million people living below the poverty line right here at home. What does it matter that our own literacy rate doesn't even rank in the top 50 countries? Just keep shelling out the foreign aid. Does it really bother anyone that we don't have the resources to help the Katrina victims? Of course not. What's really important is that the United States continue to be that big ATM machine to the world, doling out wads of cash to every country who wants it. Money, 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 money. Never mind, we don't have it. These other nations, they're entitled, aren't they? Even the ones who vilify us for protecting their freedom. By the way, listening to plaintiff's counsel, I couldn't help but concur how horrible we Americans are. Okay, so we donate $55 billion a year in foreign aid, but then we impose certain conditions on those gifts. Imagine our awfulness. And here, my God, we promise money to a clinic so long as they promise not to promote abortion. So they did. How dare we not give them the money just the same? We should have given them that and then some. We have a duty to provide these handouts. We have an absolute duty because we are the United States of America. And these other nations, well, they're entitled whether they keep their promises or not. Closing, very convincing. Almost as if you believed it. I did. You do love America. Of course I do. I didn't agree with the string our government attached to the money in this case, but we have every right to attach strings to the funds we give. My boy. I'm your friend, Denny, but I'm not your boy. That's what troubles me, this notion that we have to take sides in this country now. You're either with us or against us, Republican or Democrat, red state or blue state. I can't believe I live in a blue state. No one looks at an issue and struggles over the right position to take anymore. And yet our ability to reason is what makes us human. Lately, we seem so willing to forfeit that gift of reason in exchange for the good feeling of belonging to a group. We all just take the position of our team. I've certainly done it and hated myself for it. I've never heard you make so much sense. I make sense all the time. You just listen intermittently. Could be.